Good morning folks and welcome to today's flight. Um, I'm going to be doing a flyby service this morning from Inverness to uh, Belfast City. Our call sign for today is Jersey to Yankee Lima. We're in the Majestic Q400 Golf Foxtrot Lima Bravo Delta, which is called incidentally the Spirit of Inverness. Um, the weather at the moment slightly overcast, but blue skies coming in. Uh, I am live in Vatsam, so we might or might not get some traffic along the way. Um, I've set up the flight on Project Fly. Uh, so I'll just load that in just now. Got the radar and there's us sitting there. So, all good. There's a wee bit of traffic about on Project Fly at this time on a Saturday morning. There's also some traffic on Vatsum as well. So, all good from that point of view. Um, our flight for today will be taking off probably runway 23. I just need to check the weather. Down Nesdy, November 560, Golf Oscar Whiskey. And then we'll be cutting across to Turnberry, Blacka, down to McGee, and then into Belfast City. So I've yet to find out our uh, arrival and departure runway. So what I'll do is I will do that and set this up on Navigraph. So I'll jump over to my other computer. I've loaded in the flight plan there. So the weather at Inverness at the moment is 240 at 20 knots. So runway 23. There isn't a standard departure out of Inverness. Uh, so we've just got our airport chart up there for reference. to Belfast. It's 240 at 7 knots so it'll be runway 22. So we need our airport chart, we need our arrivals chart and we need a approach chart into runway 22. So, with all that done, we'll take a quick look at today's flight plan. Uh, call sign Jersey to Yankee Lima, as I said, Inverness to Belfast City. Fox Rock Lima, Bravo Delta as an aircraft. Our estimated takeoff time was half an hour ago. Uh, we are running slightly late. Our takeoff weight's around about 27.4 tonne. Landing weight 26 and a half tan, zero fuel weight 24.9 tan. Uh, fuel for today, block fuel two and a half tan. Moving down, there's our route. Our alternative for this flight is Manchester, and it's predicting runway 23 left. So if we have to divert, we will uh, <coughs> we'll probably divert actually to Glasgow because it's uh, easier, it's closer. Um, moving down, we've got 68 passengers. So maybe the important part there, and there's our routing. So we'll use some of this information on here to set up like our nav navigational radios. And it gives us our flight levels and our 
uh, headings at our speed and our wind component and wind shear as well. So moving down we've got our wind information. So up in the cruise we're looking somewhere around about 260, 51 knots or thereabouts with an outside temperature of minus 29. Quite cold. So we can miss out the no tams and things. I assume everything's going to be okay when we get going. Moving down there's a route just as Navagraph. There's our wind at 14,000 feet and 18,000 feet and 24,000 feet so significantly windier the higher we go so with all that done we shall nip into the cockpit We're in a cold and dark scenario here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is to stick on some ground power. So I shall try and locate my uh, Q400 charts, a uh, checklist, sorry. Let's see what I've got here. Seven three seven. It's not much use. It's here somewhere. Yeah. Okay. So, pre-flight checklist. We've checked our routing. We've checked our charts. We've loaded in our fuel and set our weights for our passengers. Um. We haven't done the V speeds yet, so we'll get back to that. So, uh, main bus tie needs to go on, position lights need to go on, parking brake is on, batteries should be master on, main battery, auxiliary, standby battery, Gen 1, Gen 2, and external power all on. Um, <coughs> excuse me, moving down to our centre console, we have to turn on the flight computers, turn on the radios, both sides. We're going to be on VATSIM so let's just set this to 122.8 at the moment. Our squat code, we haven't been assigned one so we'll set 2200. Set um, <coughs> our navigational radios we will set um, nav1 to Inverness I can find this 109.2 And NAV2 will set to Glasgow, which is 115.4. decimal four. Our standby frequencies we will set Turnbury on NAV1. Well done, NAV2 actually. 117.5. And on nav one, 
we will set our ILS frequency for Belfast, which for runway 22 is 108.1. One. 108, oh, my mouse is a wee bit sensitive, 108.1. One. So in the event that computers fail on these kind of nice things, we will uh, be able to find our way. Right, let's just go clear these warnings out of there. We will set our Q and H at the moment for Inverness, which is 1025. Quite high pressure. We'll get back to that. We will turn that off and we'll head to the flight management computers. So let's just pull this over here. Our flight plan then EGPE to E. G A C Our arrival is runway two two. So there's no star. It's an ILS two two and our transition is blacker. Back to flight plan. So from Inverness we go direct to Nesdi. Enter that in. And then from Nesdi, we go to November 560 to Golf Oscar Whiskey. And then from Golf Oscar Whiskey, we direct to Turnberry, TRN. Accept that. And then down to Blacker, so we can get rid of that no link in there and that just takes us on to our arrival we just picked from the last page let's flight plan in our fuel we said our zero fuel weight was 24.9 rings a bell let me just check. Zero fuel 24.9. 24,900. And our fuel on board is 2.6 roughly. Giving us a gross weight of 27.4. 27.5. It's fine. Our nav from Inverness, we're going direct to Nesdi. And then that'll pick up the rest of that. So we'll move on enough to AI FMS2 and we'll cross fill all the details from that into that computer. And we'll set that on our services page. So, on to the uh, V speeds. Our takeoff weight is 27.4 tons. So, 28 ton on the card. Flaps 5, which gives us a V1 of 131. A V rotate of one three one a V two of one three two a V fry of one four two And a V climb of one five four. Okay, 
I'm sort of done. So, moving on to our main control panel, our nav source is going to be FMS1 at an altitude initially out of Inverness is 6,000 feet. Usually before handover to Scottish. Our heading, we'll fly runway heading 234. Oh, too far. 234. And we'll set our bank pitch, sorry, off 5 degrees. Your damper can be switched on at this moment. And that is that page. Okay, back to the checklist. So, pressurization. Uh, sorry, missed something out there. system. Oh. Right, landing altitude is 43 feet. Out there. Engine 1 start and 1 and 2 start normal. Bleed air minimum. Temperature control 18 degrees, just leave that as it is. Seat belts can come on, no smoking on. Uh, demisters and heating vents can come on. My seat seems to have moved. Let's quickly go to. Nose wheel steering off. Flight taxi switch set to taxi. Your damper we put on anti skid is on. Gas locks on, power levers disconnect, condition levers fuel off, trims set to 3. Oh, wrong button, here we go. Just set that roughly in the middle. Okay. ATIS, we've set the Q&H, we've entered the route, we've entered the fuel, all the rest of it, transponder. Uh, we're okay with the transponder. The nav source FMS1, we've done that. Heading bag. Altitude we've set. Acceleration altitude. Okay, V speeds we've done. Navigate frequencies we've done. Doors. Close the main door. MDF1, MFD1 to nav. Done that. Okay, so we're now ready for pushback. So. We will start engine 2 off the ground pack. So, let's just 
just have a go at this. So beacon on. Engine two. Start. See our N one or N H rising. Put fuel on. Jump outside. Engine two starting. Engine one has engine two, sorry, has spooled up. Get rid of the ground. Get rid of the external power and turn the bleeds on. And once the cart is now gone, we can start engine number. One done fuel on we'll just wait for that to spool up. So park's coming to life. So we can set flaps 5 can then switch on our pitot heat turn on our taxi light advance our throttles to end top our condition lever sorry end top turn on our logo light Bust tight off. Just wait for that to spool up. Taxi light can come on, which it is. Quick look to the left, quick look to the right, all clear. And we can now do a control check, so gas lock off. Full right, full left, full forward, full back, and rather right, and rather left. Gas lock back on. And reset the rudder trim to zero. Well, I noticed there. And we're ready for taxi, so we've still got no ATC on. So, just to recap what we're going to be doing here. We will be leaving the terminal. We're parked here, just on the south apron. We'll be turning right, taxiing along Echo. Echo 1, down one way, 1-1, one, one, holding it Foxtrot, and then we'll backtrack to the threshold of 2-3, and then off. So, I should really put a note on Fatsim, so a GP traffic taxi three via echo runway one one okay so breaks off quick check everything's okay there everything's okay there just Release the brakes, a bit forward and put the throttle. And 
lo and behold, my tiller's not working. Ah, ground steering is off, that's why. Okay, I'll try that again. Off we go. And around to the right we go. apron so I don't have to be too fussy about taxing. The scenery I'm using for Inverness is by a company called Sim 720. It's very realistic. Back with this aircraft when you move from outside to in, it sort of mutes the sound. But now I've got it going again, I will uh, see what I can sort out. So, taxi's ground speed 12, it's fine. Once we get on the cross runway, we'll stick on the strobes and the uh, transponder. Incidentally, that JCP that's sitting over there was actually sitting there um, up until about three years ago. So from that point of view, the scenery is pretty good. just complete this turn and then I'll put the strobes on and the uh, transponder so strobes on can check transponder to TARA Slight incline here, so a bit more thrall. In the real life, these uh, Q400s actually taxi out with one engine. Uh, from Inverness. But we're not doing that today. This is a Majestic Q400, I don't know, did I say that already? Um, works pretty well with. Uh, P3D Drifting a wee bit Ok, so what we'll do is we'll take a wee hold at Foxtrot and we will double check our configuration before we backtrack That will just backtrack. Do all of that nice stuff. Uh, there's no traffic on Vatsim in my near vicinity, so we should be okay. So Pito heaters are on, our flight taxi switch is on flight, cut back the power a wee bit, 
autopilot, press twice to autopilot heading, press twice to reset. Heading select. Uh, our caution panel is clear. Okay, go around. Right, so we need to press the go around on the throttles, which is down here. And heading select and alt select. Okay. On to the next page. Um, don't need collision when lights, landing lights. Oh, we're all good there. So, landing lights can now come on, like so, and we can prepare for turning back. Need to put on our auxiliary pump, tank one, tank two. Standby hydraulic pressure and our auto feather. Just line this up with the heading that we selected, which is 234. off config. Nope, we've got a problem. Okay. What is our problem? The gas lock is on. So off the gas lock. Still got a takeoff problem. Parking brakes on. Still got a takeoff issue, so let's just double check the checklists. And take heaters on, Gen 1, Gen 2, electrics are all fine. Air conditioning to normal. All our lights are okay there. Main control panel. Everything's checked there, everything's good there, it's all good there, and that should be it. Nope. It's real steering. Nope. Okay, so it doesn't like something. What have I forgot to do? Taxi. Nope. Oh, don't you just love it when the plane breaks down? What's happening here? Props are good. Everything should be good. Everything should be good. Everything should be good. What's the matter? Come on. Speak to me. What is wrong? see what the problem is here but we're just going to go for it anyway. So, throttles, 
brakes off. Throttles in advance. Navigation flaps up. This above transition altitude, so one zero zero three. Set my heading to coincide with the flight management computer. Done. And there's still no traffic about, so we can. Assume that we are cleared to 20,000 feet, so altitude 20,000 feet. Altitude select. Indicated airspeed 182. And we'll condition to climb thrust. And that's us now on our way. We can take off the auxiliary pump and the standby pressure and the PTU. All feather all feather can come off. Weather radar can come on to weather only. Um, terrain, weather standby, where's the weather on weather radar on that side and on the other side we can have our terrain oh, let's just change that to nav and leave that on terrain ok coming up on 10,000 feet we can stick the landing lights and taxi lights off. I'm 
and at this point I will leave you in the climb and go and get a cup of tea. Be back shortly. Uh, see we're climbing nicely to our cruising altitude of 20,000 feet um, very wintry looking outside which is not quite how it is in the real world at the moment however we'll put up with it for the purpose of this flight just looking on Vatsum, see what's happening round about me. Um, there's no air traffic control on at Belfast. Uh, there's no air traffic control on in Scotland at the moment, actually. We've got a few flights kicking around. Uh, if we go to Project Fly and select Vatsum. There's all the flights in Batsum, there's us there. 47 minutes to go. Stick out back on Project Fly. Guy there is going from San Francisco to Heathrow. Don't know where he came from. EETN? Never heard of it. He's going from Edinburgh to. Copenhagen, a flight I'll be doing myself in the real world a week on Thursday. Looking forward to that. Good old easy jet. There's us on our cruise altitude so we can cut the condition weavers back to 
screws on both sides and that's this in the cruise again I'll turn the heading control to the appropriate heading we are flying we have a bit of a, we've got a bit of a side wind at the moment looking outside our very windy conditions as we approach Loch T down below us there to the left so we're well on our way sorry I wasn't Loch T it was uh, slightly further up at Newton Moor <coughs> So we can do a wee bit of pre preparation for our landing uh, at this moment in time. There's an approach chart coming in from Blacker, McGee, and then into Belfast City. If we go to our uh, ILS chart, we need to be at. 2,000 feet at McGee and we need to be on a course of 218 so if we jump to an FMC go to VNAV from this position here to McGee we need to be at 2,000 feet so done and we need to set our course on here to 218 for our instrument landing yeah, we will of course be doing a manual landing but it's always handy to have these things set up in case we need them and that's pretty much it just to sit back and enjoy the cruise on some uh, music in the background um, what we put on some uh, soothing music actually sure if this music's coming through or not but it should be it should be anyway I'll find out when I look back on the recording if it's actually worked or not so that is that back to you on the descent.
Okay, <clears throat> I'm back. We are uh, approximately 10 miles to top of descent. Now, at this point we should be setting our altitude to our target altitude, which, if we go back to this screen, is uh, 2,000 feet. Which will then allow us to engage VNAV which will take us down at a gentle 2,000 feet per minute. Also at this point we noted earlier that we would be landing approximately 26 tons of weight <coughs> so flaps 15 our speeds for landing will be a uh, 1 to 1 <coughs> excuse me a uh, one and a V climb of one four eight. So we've done that. So our descent checklist before we start. I'll just arm VNAV actually. VNAV. Our descent checklist, altitude bug set, and altitude select, which we haven't done. So, altitude select. Uh, autopilot to vertical speed. Well, we're not going to do vertical speed, we're going to do VNAV. Uh, and that's it. So, we'll have to reduce our throttles take us to a nice slow descent speed and there's some aircraft kicking about so what I will do is EG AC traffic TRN flight level 180 descend Maggie, 2,000 feet, expect 2-2, two, two. just a wee notification there in VATSIM just so if there's anyone kicking about eh, they will know what my intentions are. weather coming up ahead as well according to weather weather radar. Probably rain. However. I'll just reset my Comms radios now. We'll tune in the ILS there, and we'll set that one to Turnberry. So we've got about 52 miles to go to the ILS, and we're five miles. Uh, Turnberry's five miles behind us. We've got a bit of a headwind, 52 knots, which is what I predicted from my charts at the start. Actually setting a bit high. Uh, pilot command camera. So lower the camera. And then we want to tilt it up the way. Probably can raise it a little bit. There we go. Gives us a better view of the. Uh, probably zoom out a wee bit as well. Gives us a better view of what's going on round about us for. Uh, coming into 
land. My speed's getting a bit fast, so I'll reduce the speed levers down a little bit. for the next few miles. Five miles of choppiness. Detecting ice. Let's stick on the ice detection. Like so. According to Project Fly, we should be on the ground in 8 minutes, but that's not going to happen. And we're coming up on 11,000 feet, so we'll reduce our speed down further to allow us to maintain 250 below 10,000. Slightly just to maintain 240. Got a bit of a wind blowing outside in real life, but uh, hey ho. In fact, we're going to get the weather all the way in on our approach. Approach lights. Seat belts are on. And at this point, we'll go on the other computer and check our weather. So 260 at 9 knots, so a wee bit of a crosswind. Temperatures plus 8. QH 1033. So at this point, we will put in 1033. Under that. And Now, descending nicely through the weather. Still no ATC on, so what we'll do is when we get on our on the final, we'll announce that on Fatsum. So 
we're a wee bit above where we want to be but we've got quite a lot of distance to travel so we'll be fine. Outside, actually not a bad day, but it's uh, fairly choppy. I'm gonna turn the weather radar off to declutter my screen for landing. And my descent rate is well below where I need to be so I'm going to increase my pitch fucked doing vertical speed actually take that down to about 1600 feet a minute At this point, I'm going to switch over to my nav source to ILS 1, like so, and I will press the localizer and glide slope. Now, too fast again, reduce the throttles down, they're just above the glide. Take it down to 200. And I'm not sure if this music's coming through or not, but at this point I will uh, turn the music off. And I will see EGAC traffic. Final. In preparation, where I want to be. Bus terrain, bus terrain. Not that fast about that. select flaps 5 which drops me like a stone so I will hold around 150 Localizer is captured. So our heading we can set to the runway heading, which is 218. Bit more power. Punch in my message and bat some. Everything happens very quickly from now on. So, my speed's rising. I will now put on my landing lights. Like so. Now advance my throttles to end top. <coughs> Excuse me. Put on the pumps and the uh, standby pressure. Drop the landing gear.
also set our go around altitude, which is must approach 3,000 feet. Ever so slightly once this localizer becomes alive. Localizer is alive, sorry, when the glide slope comes alive, we can then set our go around altitude to 3,000 feet. fully configured flaps 10 and flaps 15 reduce your speed a bit above the glide Decision height is one one two a two one two which is set and I think at this moment I will kick off the autopilot and attempt to take it in manually. Increase the speed. Just let that carry on a little bit till it becomes a bit more stable. And we're now manual. Pretty windy. Got my point in the runway that I would like to be. Looking at the threshold and then at the other end of the runway. Speed coming up. Speed down. Sink rate. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. Too low. Flaps. down. So at this point I'll click on the nose wheel steering. And reach for the tiller. Which doesn't want to work. There we go. Oh, okay. And we're down. Taxi to the end. mode which will drop the spoilers. You can also at this point put on the gas lock like so. Yeah. 
stuff so we can put our transponder off. We can also put our landing lights, taxi light on, landing lights off and strobes off. Okay. And we're looking for a parking space, so we'll just taxi on round. Not there traffic about, so I don't need to announce my intentions on Batsum. Another aircraft coming in, actually. Our dash eight. Probably on the ground by now, actually. Oh, no. We have a flyby on the ground which is parked in the building. They're obviously not using the same UK 2000 scenery that I'm using. And I think we'll just pull in to one of the non-jetway parking spaces. We'll take the next on the right. Probably do us there. Outside, yeah, not bad. Parking brake on. We will idle both engines to start. Momentarily. Then we shall call on taxi light off. Like so. so we're happy that engine one has idled, we can kill the fuel. And <coughs> once engine one has stopped, we will call for the ground power unit. Services Quest GPU So we're still drawing power at this moment from engine 2. We've got the ground power attached so we'll put the main bus tie on and the external power and we will put engine 2 off and at this point we will tidy up our overhead panel so the pito stacks can all come off taxi lights off, beacon can come off Logo light can come off, seat belts can come off, no smoking can come off. Our parks can go at minimum. Ladies and gentlemen, for your own safety, we instruct you Engine's to done, we can open the main exit. We can also open the aft cargo door. 
the off to well, close the off to pack store. Open the off to back door. Close that down. Great side. And we will call on. Let me just save my flight on Project Fly. 39 feet a minute. That's really good. Complete. I'll definitely take that one. We will call on. Oh, wrong button. A. Uh, we'll call on GSX to see what it can do. Request deboard by Mentees. What's this giving me? Never actually used JSX2 at the moment. So there's us. Totally ready for deboarding. Now this should give me the people coming off the aircraft. If I disconnect the seatbelt signs. what's going on. We may see the people coming off. Conflict the menus here actually. Oh, my traffic. Uh, okay, so GSX settings simulation. but I thought there might have been people coming off. Anyway, we've arrived safely in Belfast City. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the flight with a 39 feet per minute landing, which is absolutely superb. Couldn't ask for better than that. The weather was pretty good. And on behalf of myself and my virtual crew, many thanks for watching. And we'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.